In just over two weeks, more than 900 local people have signed online or in person a petition asking Hampshire County Council to act now before a pupil at Toynbee School gets injured or worse. The petition was started by a grandfather of children at the school after three years of his daughter trying to get something done to make it safer for children exiting the main entrance on Bodycoats Road. We're very concerned about children being fatally injured or injured at all. Um, in fact, when the petition was started online, there were um, the opportunity to make comments and one person has even said their child was knocked off a bike. Um, so, you know, accidents do happen here, but very rarely are they reported. At three o'clock, it's like a crocodile pit for children to have to get across. They come out every which way. Um, obviously, teenage children don't necessarily pay the best attention to, to traffic. It's at the top of the hill, and they just, they just swarm across the road with cars moving off from parked positions and coming at speed up the hill. Terry's daughter Susie has a 17-year-old who has just left Toynbee, a 15-year-old there currently and two others, both visually impaired, one of whom will be going there in September. The road is awful for all of the children leaving the school, but obviously for a child with a visual impairment it is so much worse. Toynbee School house a visual impaired unit for children with visual impairment and I feel that the school should therefore have a safe crossing to get to the school on the main entrance so that the visually impaired children can, can be treated the same as all of their peers and get to and from school safely. Bodycoats Road has a 30 mile per hour limit and on entering from Oakmount Road there's a notice of a school. But at the other end there's none and although there are traffic calming measures, getting across the road is difficult for everyone, not just school children. I've spoken to a, a an adult with, with visual impairment who says that at all times of day they find it very difficult to cross that road because it's a hill, people speed to get up the hill and regardless of the speed bumps, if anything it makes it worse. People are concentrating on those bumps rather than concentrating on the people crossing. We approached Hampshire County Council for their comment related to the petition for a safe crossing at Toynbee School but at the time of this report none has been received. Susie says they've been told that because the road junctions are so close, there's no space for a pedestrian crossing, but says that even narrowing the road would help, like at the school around the corner. This is an example of a pinch point, which is the kind of thing I'd love to be put in on Bodycoats Road. It was put in outside St Swithin Wells School approximately 18 months to two years ago to help the children cross. It pulls the children out to the centre of the road and avoids cars parking too close either side, which allows the children to have full vision up and down the road while only crossing with one lane of traffic coming at them at a time. So it just gives them more, more concentration on how they can cross the road. The other two local secondary schools in the area, Thorndon has a subway which allows the children to cross the road very safely without going over the top at all. Um, the, the Crestwood has a bridge which allows the children to get across the road safely. Bodycoats Road has nothing at all and on top of that doesn't even have signposts coming up the road so that the cars don't slow down at all because there's no signage to say that it's a school or to say that blind children are crossing. This is Shan Robbins for That's Solent.